All right, all right. What's up, everybody? I'm back. It's your boy, Luan. How you doing? Hope everyone's been feeling very, very good and y'all have been having the best January ever. So this is my check-in. I, I haven't had a chance to make a video for you guys in a bit. It's been a bit of a crazy January. And so I just kind of want to make this video um, as an intro to what's what's the plan for February. I want to get a bunch of cool shit done this, uh, this month. And then also like ticking off like the different goals that we had in January. So if I pull them up and see what we managed to pull off in, uh, in setting our goals for this year and seeing how we went. So um, personally, a couple of really, really cool like IRL things that have just happened. Um, so we just did our live stream and uh, we did our live stream gender reveal. So Sarah and I are expecting a baby boy uh, towards the end of the year. So we're very excited for that. So that is definitely really, really, you know, um, one is super exciting. Two, it is just firing an incredible, like it's just like igniting this huge fire of, um, of drive. I don't know. I, I'm typically someone who like finds it very hard to just kind of do things for myself. Um, but when I know like, you know, other people, I have accountability towards other people, it makes me work harder. So, um, you know, that's been a, I didn't realize I was gonna get like super amped up on, on new ideas and doing things like that. So that's uh, one thing that has definitely been, you know, a huge win for the year already. So going back on January, I decided I wanted to take content full time. I started recording some of these videos, started the road to virtuoso, started focusing on like, hey, I, I, want, I want this to be a serious thing. I wanna do the stream regularly and Basically, I've been trying to figure out uh, business-wise how to accomplish this. So um, for a lot of content creators, and so if you're a content creator or just if you're a business owner in general, in general, it's there's a really hard balance between working really hard and then like trading your money for time versus creating something that scales. So things that will buy you more time so that you can then work on things that leverage you more and more distance towards your your goals. So for me, my goal is I wanna be a virtuoso. I wanna be the best freaking musician that I can ever be. I wanna be the best singer I can be, best guitarist I can be. I wanna write the best songs and I want to write a hit song. So that being said, that is the thing I wanna do. Like, just, that's it. Now, if we look on the other spectrum of things that I wanna do, like to get there, you know, you have to create an income stream or you need someone who pays for your shit. And that's typically what a record label would do um, so that it can help you get there. You know, advances on record labels helps the, you know, the musician get on the grind, get, the, get in the right room. And usually they have a product already and then that gets them launched. We're trying to do it all ourselves. So the trick here is how does one make a business profitable enough so that I can build the really big thing? Um, while still uh, being able to pay my power bill. Speaking of power bill, came in, brutal. Townsville summer power bills are brutal, so brutal. Um, air conditioners, they destroy. They, they just, my soul. But cool nights, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, so that's the biggest challenge right now. I was trying to figure out a way, how do I make things more profitable? How do I make things work so that I can like, essentially grow this thing and it and it be a viable business so um originally i was like okay well what if content you know like streaming and then i build youtube channel and i do those things and those things will earn the money um and i was originally like okay well, i'm gonna give away all my education for free uh and then you know maybe some people will sign up for like lessons or coaching like one-on-one -on -one. um but now I've kind of really like, and then I was also going to do weddings and then and some gigs if I could um, and events and things like that. But I've now kind of gotten to this place where I'm like a brand new app was announced. Well, it's not a brand new app. It's, it's been around for a while. Um, a guy called Alex Hormozzi that I, I, for business stuff, like if you need to get good at business or you want to just learn shit and for free, he's got all the information there, him and his wife, uh, Alex and Layla, 
but he invested just now in an app called School, S-K-O-O-L. And so that is what we're going to do to accomplish the first January goal, which we have failed in January to accomplish. But I think that this app, you know, fingers crossed, is going to be the thing that allows us to make a profitable content machine that brings super value to everyone in our community and then also gives me a shot at getting really, really good. And so that is the huge thing that's happening in February. So the very first goal on the list was uh, create revenue from content. Currently, uh, I mean, I can't, I think I can double check it, but I'm pretty sure the stream earned a total of $263 Australian for this month, which is dope. Like, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for everyone who was gifting. That's from the subs as well. Like, absolutely massive. Uh, is it something that can replace a whole income? No, but that is, that's insane. That puts me in the 1% of streamers, the 1%. So you guys with just what you have done has put me in the 1% of streamers because 99% uh, of streamers, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the stat is 99% of streamers earn nothing. Zero. Z zero. So um, based off of all the hard work we put in last year and then also, you know, this month of streaming and showing up and you guys showing up, we already hit one the top 1% of, uh, of live streamers. So... Very, very cool. Um, the 011, like the 001% is the, you know, obviously goat status, like guys that are making crazy amounts of money, but we don't need to go there. We just need to, to pay the bills. So school is going to be the thing that's going to fix that. So we didn't hit the, the revenue goal in January, but I'm going to extend that goal that we had in January and we're going to push it to probably like we'll aim for like i mean let's just say let's just do it till till our baby boy's born i think like you know another five months i reckon if i put in enough hard work and i deliver exactly the value i'm accountable i i, I make a great product i think we can create an, a great online business and um the more like the closer i get to doing that is going to be like hey i can give you guys more value because we can start hiring editors to make more videos for you guys. We can start, you know, taking away all the, all the fodder in my life, all the operational drag of me, like driving to gigs and things like that and doing all things like that. Um, if I can eliminate all of that and then just own, only earn through live streaming and through creating content and through building a school, uh, I think would just absolutely change my life. And it'll also give me the freedom to be literally like, I can hop on and do two sets a day, which would be like my ideal dream of a live stream schedule. I wake up, I, you know, I start my work, I do my, my personal practice, and then I hop on at like 10 a.m., I don't know, between 10 and 11 a.m. I hop on, I do a 90-minute set, and I have heaps of fun with you guys. And then I go and I keep doing my work, and I keep working on getting better product, doing all that kind of stuff, recording videos, and then at like 3 or 4 p.m., I hop on and I do another hour, 90 minutes set. And that would be like, that would be a totally like, I would, I mean, I would love that life. You know, imagine working like Monday through Friday and that was your life. And then I take Saturday and Sunday off and I hang out with the family. And so that is essentially the dream. And so that is what I'm going to be working super hard towards. So first goal failed miserably, but it also created the context to be like, all right, I have more information now. I know how hard this is. So we're going to keep grinding and we're going to keep putting in the extra work and we're going to get there. Now, live stream five days a week consistently and reliably. We hit that goal aside from a cyclone that decided towards the end of January, hit Townsville, uh, everywhere lost power. I was not able to stream. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Natural disaster. Can't do much about that. And I did not foresee it, but we did pretty good. Now, the next goal was post three short form content a day and one long form content a day. I was actually doing pretty well with this. Um, I fell off the wagon. I'm about to jump back on the wagon, but I think what was super crazy. So this is like a half win. I would say uh, there is still a bit of posting anxiety that I have. I like, look, listen, every time I go to post a video, 
uh, on any social media platform, a video of me playing, I'm like, wow, that is garbage. I can't believe I'm about to post this. And then I post it anyway. So I have to get through my mental hurdles of posting content. Um, so if you are insecure about posting your content and moving forward and getting good at your craft, um, just know that it's normal. You should feel like shit um, at the beginning till you don't. I'm assuming there's a point that you don't feel like shit, but uh, till I get to that point, I won't be able to tell you. But right now I'm telling you that I'm posting like fucking 20 pieces of content plus a week. And every single time I feel like shit pretty much every time. I'm like, oh, this is garbage. Oh, this is garbage. And there was one thing that was really cool, a huge lesson that I learned that has been like an overarching thing that I think was the big macro win for January is um, when you are posting content and when you are live streaming, everything like, um, oh fuck, I forgot the, I heard it the other day. Oh my God, the best uh, analogy for it. Oh, what is it? Whatever. Focusing on metrics. Oh, what is the name? Oh, it's, it's, it's at the top of my head. I can't remember. Anyway, basically you have metrics of input and you have metrics of output. So basically I create a piece of content and I post it is an input metric. I can measure that. The output metric is how many likes did I get? Did we get followers? What was the retention? Things like that. Now, beforehand, I was like, I need to get more followers. I need to get more likes. I need to get more views. How can I build retention? How can I, and I was so focused on that, that it really held back the input factor. And my men, my ment I would be, I would be like, I put all this effort into a video. I edit, I'm like, this is the one it's going to be it. Like people are going to love this. This is great. I feel like the cadence is great. The content is great. It's something people want to know. People have requested it. It's going to be a good video. And then it's shit fucking dead D E D just useless. I think it got like, yeah, <sighs> killed my soul. I would look at it and be like, Oh, this is going to be no, no, there's so many moments in January. I was like, yeah, no, yeah, no, fuck. Like every time. And um, so that is a, an emotional roller coaster. I do not recommend anyone go through. And one thing that has completely like the same thing would be like, I'll be playing in the stream and then boom, there's like a hundred people plus in the stream concurrently. And I'm like, wow, what am I doing? Like, this is fantastic. Like I must be doing something great. Like I'm really like, I must be bringing heaps of value. And then fucking four days later, it's like 10 people. I'm like, that is a really hard metric to bounce around. So I really respect streamers who have to like deal with this all the time. But those are all output metrics. Those are the metrics that there's a fancier word for it, a more correct word, but that's the only way I can explain it because I can't remember the word. But valuing those things is what has made my month really hard, like just really hard and slowed me down. Now I have begun to swap to being an input guy. So now I'm like, I need to create three pieces of content and I'm going to do it. And that is it. That's where it ends. Now I close the chapter on the three pieces. I make them as best as I can. I take notes of like, if something does well, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, was there high retention? What did I do? Did I have like a cool little gif at the beginning? Were there cuts? Did I change the edit? Like I can figure out ways to make it better. And then that's what I do. And then with that mentality, it's fucking easy. Cause now I'm just like, all right, I'll just make the piece of content, fucking go, bang. And then it's up and then I move on to the next thing and I can keep the cadence and I can keep a good workflow going and I'm not held back by my mentality. The same thing goes for the stream. Personally, I think the past week or so of me streaming has been a fucking vibe. So if you guys have been watching the streams, please let me know if you think it has been a vibe because I've been way more creative. I have done way cooler guitar solos. My vocals has been improving so much more. Um, I'm taking more risks in my, uh, my ideas. We learned sing live, which is something I'm really uncomfortable doing. 
uh, not uncomfortable, but it's just like, I want to bring value. I don't want you guys to have to like go through the me fucking wasting my time while live streaming, learning a song. I can just do that and then deliver you guys a great product. But either way, it was a lot of fun. And I was super, uh, look, let's be real. I can give every, every excuse. There was time at some point in the month, I could have sat down for the two hours and I could have learned how to play sing. So I'm not going to say I didn't have time because I fucking did. And I'm just a piece of shit, but we're going to get through that. We're going to get super, super effective at productivity. So that is the big change. So now when I live stream, if I could, I would turn off the TikTok fucking count. I do not know how to turn it off. There would, if there is a way and someone knows how to do it, I would love you to help me. But if you can learn to not look at your follow account and all you look at are the people who are commenting and who are in the stream and delivering them value, that for me has been a huge unlock. And then when I say value, I'm like, okay, well, what do I love doing? And how can I put my best foot forward? And then I give that. And then I give that in the stream. And then that I feel has been reciprocated because I do get great feedback. Um, we have had less trolling and we, you know, it's just wholesome and I love it. So for me, I think that's how the stream has been improving. Now let's move on to next one, write and finish one song. Boom, we did. We wrote and finished one song. So that is a huge W. We can chuck that in the uh, in the books of a W. Uh, that was, uh, we wrote, um, well, not we, I wrote. I wrote um, Wasted Years, um, which uh, quite a few people have been liking. So I really appreciate you guys enjoying that. Um, next one, add vocal harmonies to loops. Uh, that is a, a solid two out of 10 for this. For this uh, I didn't practice it. I just YOLO'd it when we learned sing. And um, it was good enough, but it was not it was not my best foot forward. So I'm gonna give myself a two out of 10 rating on that one. Learn how to play Yellow by Coldplay. Big W, we know how to play that one. Uh, learn how to play Sing by Ed Sheeran. I'll give that a solid four out of 10 uh, because I don't know it by heart and I didn't really practice it. And we kind of YOLO'd it and it still went all right, but that's why I give it a four. It's not really a pass. It's a solid, it's like a, it's a D. I would give it a D, you know, out of, out of an A, B, C, D, E, I would give it a D. So, but I appreciate everyone who loved it. Um, again, like when I think of things, I know when, I know when typically when you are a musician, it, this is not a thing, like you don't want to bash yourself uh, in your head of things. I just have a standard of, that I know how much I've done. And this is kind of something that's coming towards like the January and um, like this transition into February is I did January and I was like, and I did a lot of work. Like I was gigging, I started teaching and then I, um, and I was just trying so many things with the business and then also doing all the content and then doing the live streaming and learning how to edit and learning all these things. I had heaps in the tank. And so it's like, when you, when you're doing all the hard work and when you're practicing and like the standard that I keep is not when people say you're great. The standard I keep is like when I'm playing, I'm like, could you have done it better? Could you have put another 10 minutes into that? Could you have done more? And right now the answer has always been yes. Right now I keep holding back doing more. And so that is a mental break that like, if I can break that, that limiter on me, it's like, I don't know. It's like, you know, you're like, you're in a car, right? I feel like I'm stuck in like second or third gear. I'm not like pushing myself to get even further. So it's just like, um, yeah, we're, we're going to figure that out. But you know, when I look at seeing that's why I rank myself so lowly is, I did technically sing it and play it, but could I have done better? Damn straight. I could have put at least in the time of that month, I could have put like two, three hours into it and it would have been way better. Way, and, I, and it would have been a better outcome than it was because I, I, I am annoyed that I didn't try. 
But anyway, enough of that. Um, and yeah, so that was it. And I think the, the other one was uh, getting into exercise. I've been hesitant to get into exercise because of my shoulder, but I did do a couple of gym workouts and the shoulder didn't get inflamed that much. Uh, the only thing that fucked up my shoulder was when we were trying to fix and clean up after the cyclone and that kind of made it icky, but um, went for a run today and it's been feeling pretty good. So that's January. Now we're at setting February goals. Now February goals are super, super, super simple. Exercise and build an online school. That's it. I will continue my content creation thing. I'm not going to drop from the standard of posting three pieces of content uh, a day of short form and one long form. Uh, I am going to make sure I keep up with my learning of songs. The new cadence for learning of songs will be three songs a week, minimum. Minimum three songs a week will be made. And then the minimum songs I write is one song a week. So I'm going to level up the songwriting to one song a week and le level up the learning of songs to three songs a week. Uh, Cause we're not gonna fuck around this. Uh, we're not fuck around in February. Uh, we're gonna see what this looks like. This, let's see what Super Luan can look like. Um, and then once we hit that level, we're gonna see what the next level looks like. You know, we just like, I don't know if you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, it's just like Goku, you know? You know, he had like that, you know, um, you know, he had his like training with King Kai and then he could do like a certain level and he became Super Saiyan and then Super Saiyan 2. And then Super Saiyan. You get what I mean? You just keep, you keep pushing the barrier. But this month will be all about growth. Um, I'm gonna be pushing the songs. So I'll be playing heaps of songs, three songs a week. I'll be learning a song. I'll be writing a song, one song a week. Uh, and we'll be posting heaps of content. Um, most of it will be like cool clips from the stream um, and then also tutorial stuff. But the two big goals for this month for me personally is building the online school. And it is free, by the way. It is a 100% free platform. Uh, if you wanna join, it'll be free. You will have guitar courses. You have literally anything you want, anything you want that I can provide, I will deliver. If it's shitty video editing, if you're like, how do I make shitty video editing things? I'll be like, here you go. This is how I do it and you will learn. <laughs> um, I mean, there's way better professionals towards the video editing space, but the, the whole concept of the school is to package what I know. We're gonna be packaging my brain in ways that deliver value to you guys and it will be free and I want you guys to get ahead as far as possible. Um, and so I'll be linking that in the, in the description as well once it goes live. But um, so maybe when you see this, it will be live. It'll be live on Monday. It's Saturday today. I should be able to post this video tomorrow because um, I've got to go and do a birthday party um, after this. But yeah, once it's live, uh, yeah. So once this is live, the next day, the, the school is going to be open. Uh, and then I'm just going to be recording mass videos and tutorials for you guys. So let's go. Um, the stream, I want to make sure I keep up the cadence of five, five a week. Uh, at 10 a.m. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. If there's weeks that I'm not doing two shows, uh, like I'm not doing multiple shows during the weekend of gigs, then I will try and do a couple of afternoon ones as well for you guys because I know a lot of people like stay up really late to hang out and watch us. And I want to make sure that there's a shot for you guys when you wake up in the morning that you can hang out with us and I appreciate your time. Um, and yeah, so, and then I want to get fit. So we, we have, we're basically going to be, you know, Keep moving forward with January. January is going to keep moving. And then the only two brand new goals is going to be get fit and we're going to build this online school. So I'm really, really excited for this. Uh, the next episode that I do will probably be all about the school. Um, and I will let you guys, it'll be a discussion as well. You guys can always request and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm, my plans are with it. Um, but yeah, happy Happy February, everyone. And I hope you guys all had a great January. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this next month. You know, we're 8%. 8, I saw a, a picture today. It's like, you're 8% of the year done. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, 8%. But we still got 92% of the year to go. So let's uh, make it fucking savage. And uh, I'm very, very keen. I want to deliver you guys value. I want to get really good. And um, I want to come up with some cool shit. So... Very keen to see you guys. Thank you all so much for watching all the content that I've been posting, uh, supporting everything I've been doing, watching the streams. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, no one has ever, 
no one has any obligation to gift and do all that kind of stuff. And we've just had so much great support. I really appreciate the subscribers and all the gifting. You guys are helping me achieve my goal faster. Um, and yeah, just thank you so much. I will be turning off this video now. And yeah, let's, uh, let's have a great February, y'all. And I'll see you guys on the streams. And hopefully I see you guys in the online music school. All right. See you all. Bye.